we need to frame regret as an opportunity rather than a threat. And if we do that, it helps transform regret from this heavy burden that most humans carry to something more like a provocation that prods us towards something better in our lives around the area that we are likely to park up in if we don't take the seed out of it and get better because of it. When you feel the sting and the pain of regret, you've got three possible responses. You can either bury it, which most humans do, i.e. no regrets tattoo. You bury it, which is denial and delusional. So it doesn't go away, just goes underground and festers and becomes toxic often. Or you wallow in it, and that becomes a despair type energy in our lives. Or you use it, which becomes a growth element in our lives, i.e. taking the seed, as I said, from the sorrow, making something negative and something unhelpful, progressive and useful. So what I'm advocating we do is we use regret to create some kind of chain reaction that we go from that we go from the aggravation that regret brings, because all regrets are aggravating, but we move beyond aggravation to some form of activation that creates expansion in and through our lives. All of that is an option every single day with regret, but you have to be intentional to make it become one or the other. I think default is threat and fear, and intentionality and regrets by design are the ones that we have to be intentional about making pay itself forward to ourselves and through our lives to others.